of South Africa, distinguished ministers who are here, captains of industry, friends, good evening. Um, first, let me take this opportunity on behalf of the government and the people of Kenya to welcome our friends, the business community from South Africa to Kenya, and um, to let you know that while you are in Kenya, count yourselves to be home away from home. You are most welcome to Kenya. This morning, I had extensive discussions with my elder brother, President Ramaphosa, and his team. And I want to thank His Excellency the President for delivering the good news to the business community and to the people of our two countries making it possible for us to be able to travel, to be able to visit, to be able to do business, and to be able to work together in an environment that has little hurdles and that we have to jump little hoops to be able to get to the other side. Thank you very much, Mr. President. On behalf of the people and government of Kenya, we appreciate your gesture your leadership, and your personal intervention in making sure that our officials are aligned so that we can work together. I just have two things to say, to remind us. And I speak to the South African business delegation the way I do to our Kenyan business people. We are living in a continent that we have a million point two billion people with a GDP of $2.7 trillion. We have the youngest population in the globe. This is a continent of great possibilities and opportunities. These opportunities and possibilities are hindered by bureaucracy, red tape, regulations, and many things that impede our collective progress. I told our teams earlier, we cannot share poverty, but we can share wealth. And we need to work together to create wealth. And we must eliminate the barriers, the hurdles, our borders must not be walls. We must turn our borders from being hurdles to being bridges. We must turn our borders from being hurdles to being facilitative so that we can do trade, we can do business, we can make investment, and we can move people, goods, and services freely in our continent. <clears throat> Kenya and South Africa are struggling to export to Europe and all manner of places. And yet, there exists market and opportunity in Kenya and South Africa. Something must be wrong with us, honestly. We cannot continue this. Europe, you've heard, is trading at 70% 70 70 of trade, intra-European trade. Africa 
is at 19%. What a shame. And we still want to have a conversation about, oh, you know we have this regulation, and you know we have this other regulation, and you have to wait. I mean, surely, uh, good people. Sometimes, even when we want to make decisions at the policy level, the business people are the ones holding us back. Oh, you know that guy is going to take over my market, and the other guy is going to take over my market. Please, let us have one big market. Forget about your small market. Let us work together. <laughs> Instead of selling to a few people in Kenya, or selling to a few people in South, in South Africa, let us sell to the many people in Africa by tearing down the borders that limit our opportunity to work together. I want to thank President Ramaphosa for working with my team and myself to eliminate some of the barriers that we have. Our ministers have instructions that South Africa and Kenya are in one neighborhood and South Africa and Kenya hold the potential of unleashing the opportunities in our continent by working together. <laughs> combining, combining the experience, know-how of the American, uh, of the South African people with the agility and the innovation of the Kenyan people, the limit is the sky. There is no limit. We have limitless opportunity by working together. I want to promise my good brothers from South Africa that Kenya is open for business and Kenya wants to work with you. We have agreed on many of the other issues and I want to thank our officials for being supportive of the positions that we have taken, eliminating the barrier on meat exports. Why on earth would we, be, would, would we ban South African meat from coming to Kenya or Kenyan meat from going to South Africa? Why? There is absolutely no reason. And listening to the good lady who came to speak to us about these barriers, I never heard her say, this is very difficult. She kept on saying, this is easy. This is simple. We're going to do this. So I am here to come across anything that is so difficult. I have only heard about things that are simple and easy. The question I ask myself, easy and simple. Why am I not doing them? Let's just do the easy and simple things and get us working and get us doing business. <laughs> Let me finally say the following. We have huge opportunities in Kenya for South African private sector and business entities. We have investments, we have huge opportunities in our, our housing and settlement plan. We are short of two million houses. My good brother, President Ramaphosa told me, you have already built four million houses in South Africa. We want to build at least 200,000 houses every year. And we want South African companies to come and work with us. Bring your technology, bring your investment, we are going to give you the land. We are going to build the infrastructure for you. We are going to make sure there is a sewer line, there is a road, there is electricity, there is water. And when you complete those houses, we are going to buy them from you. As soon as you complete, you hand over the keys to us. We pay you. You go to the next project as we look for mortgage for our citizens. You have opportunity. You have opportunity in our water harvesting program. We have decided that we are going to work with the private sector to deliver on our water harvesting program. We have already lined up 
the first 100 big dams which we want to build using a water purchase agreement instrument. Build the dam, we will buy the water from you. As, 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 and we will underwrite the purchase of that water uh, from any of the investors, from our good friends from South Africa. There is tremendous opportunity for you to co-invest with us and for us to give you opportunity to earn good runs, good shillings, maybe even dollars from our uh, working together under the private-public uh, partnership uh, window. We have sound South African investments in Kenya from DSTV to Standard uh, Bank and all the other operations and I was very pleased to see the kind of partnerships in the various companies that we went through here in the, in the, in the, in, in the grounds down outside here between South Africa and Kenya, from textile to furniture to manufacturing to um, fintech companies. And I want to tell you that South Africa and Kenya hold the key to unlocking the possibilities in the continent of Africa. We just, we need to work together. And between me and my elder brother, I want to promise you that we are going to open doors for you, not just in Kenya, not just in South Africa, but in the continent of Africa, so that we can leverage on your expertise, on the resources you have to open our continent and to unlock the potential of wealth in the continent of Africa. I want to persuade you that this is an opportunity like no other. This is an opportunity of our lifetime. And even in the face of the challenges that we face with climate change and all the other attendant drought, floods, famine, we can still position our continent not just as a victim of climate change, but actually as a place where we can play a role in resolving the challenge of climate change. We have enormous resources in the green energy space. We have huge opportunities from our young people and the natural resources we have in this continent. The opportunity is beckoning for us to work together and it starts somewhere. And I want to pledge that it starts with South Africa and Kenya. Thank you very much for listening to me. It is now my very humble duty to request His Excellency President Cyril Ramaphosa to be able to make his remarks. Mr. President.